Borderlands, the film has came out and it is a massive, massive flop. Let's get into it. I'm least okay. Let me just start by saying if you guys like what I do and love covering the, me covering the news and want to join us for members movie night and help join the live streams and support live streams and support everything I do, consider clicking join and becoming a member and joining the champions and the legend squad right here and get your name in every video and every live stream. You guys make it all possible and help me keep doing this and then I really appreciate it. So if you want to join, click join. It'd be really cool. But if not, that's cool. Just hit the like. Anyhow, um, so Borderlands, the film came out with a star studded cast. I mean, let's be honest. Let's just take a look at some of the people that were in this. Um, people that I recognize, Kate Blanchett, Bobby Lee, Jamie Lee Curtis from Halloween. Love Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, Florian Montenu, I've seen him a couple of things. Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Haley Bennett, Charles Bab Babalola, Babalola. Sorry if I butchered your name, sir. But yeah, massive star studded cast. Um, obviously, beloved franchise by many. Um, but unfortunately, it flopped. And I have a reason, I have a feeling why, and why it flopped. I, have a, I think I know why it flopped. Because the cast, the makers of the film, haven't actually played the video games. They don't care to play the video games. Let's get into it and let's talk about it. So, um, Borderlands came out came out on um, August 9th, August 6th um, at TCL Chinese Theatre. It had a budget of 110 to 120 million. That is a hell of a, that's a hell of a budget. It's only made 16 million dollars. People don't want to go out and see it. People don't want to watch it. <laughs> It sucks. It's a shame. It's another beloved franchise that I've played that I used to enjoy. I used to do video uh, live streams of me playing it on the, on the Nintendo Switch when Borderlands came out. It hurts to see beloved franchises like this fail. Um, obviously, we just heard about the new Yakuza TV show. Amazon basically told the cast, we don't want you guys to play the game. We want you to do your own thing with it. No. <laughs> Come on, give give these franchises the respect that they deserve. So let's read the article from Tom's Guide. So Borderlands Review, not even Kate Blanchett can save this mess. Please don't watch Borderlands. Don't watch it, even though it's got a good cast. Tom's verdict, the Borderlands is both a bad adaptation to its source of its source material and a painfully unfunny, unoriginal mishmash of other better movies. Skip it. Pros, cast do their best with what they've got. Cons, hackneyed, cliche writing, laughs don't land. It's just plain boring. It's just not worth going out to watch. And I think a lot of people have agreed with that because they've not went out to watch it. It's made, it's made $16 million. It's, a map, it's an absolute bomb. It's bombed. It's, it has bombed at the cinema. In a world where we've been treated to genuinely excellent projects like The Last of Us, Max on Max, Next, Netflix's Arcane and Prime Video's Fallout TV series, the Borderlands movie feels like one hell of a throwback to a very different kind of video game adaptation. And no, that is not a compliment. Minus the pre-sequel, I've played every one of Borderlands games for hours on end and I was desperately trying to remain optimistic that the friend project might at least be okay. Alas, my pleas got waylaid because Ellie Roth's new Borderlands movie is easily one of the worst things I've watched all year. Instead of being the Guardians of the Galaxy adjacent and some ensemble action comedy it so clearly wants to be, the Borderlands movie ends up playing out as a dull throwback to the previous era of utterly dire video game movies, one which I can't in good conscience recommend you seek out whatsoever. Um, Obviously, great cast, that's good. Plot-wise, the movie's cohesive enough. It revolves around an outlaw with a mysterious past, Lilith, aka Kate Blanchett, who heads back to her home planet of Pandora at the behest of the mostly absent from the movie, villainous Atlas Corp, CEO. She's off to find and retrieve Atlas's daughter, uh, Tiny Tina, Ariana Greenblatt from Tina Psycho Protector Krieg um, and Roland Kevin Hart, the rogue Crimson Lance soldier that kidnapped her. Once they cross paths, they later link up with neurotic scientist Tannis, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Robot Claptrap, vo clap voiced by Jack Black. I love Jack, Jack Black. Arguably, my biggest issue above all was the script itself. Roth and his co writer, Joe Crombie, have delivered a painfully unfunny movie, with, which is a problem as an action comedy. I saw it in a packed auditorium, and you could count the number of laughs loud enough to be heard over the movie on one hand um aside, possibly one finger aside from the genuinely good um joke at roland's expense and his fate in the games i can't recall anything else i liked our ensemble um 
attempts to be a little bit quippy mid scrap but deliveries off elsewhere the gags do shoot for are the lowest of the low brow one of the final lines of the movie is genuinely just a premature ejaculation gag now i'm not above pure humor but when every other cheap shot is a laugh every other cheap shot at a laugh had fallen quite so flat it left the worst lasting impression at least the cast is okay <laughs> that's the one silver lining when it's not being unfunny the script is treating viewers like an idiot characters come out with the most uninspired lines Lilith genuinely drops an I'm too old for this shit line early on likewise you'll see every potential reveal a mile off either because A you know the game's lower better than most people who wrote the movie or B Borderlands bashes you over the head with anything it deems important or emotive I do like how they've got claptrap in it I mean that's got to be a redeeming quality right um other low points include egregious needle drops a chaotic scrap with cycles simply must be set to Motorhead's Ace of Spades, obviously, or just the idea of trying to turn an ultra-violent, sweary, or crass game series into a PG-13 movie that boasts bang average action. It just doesn't work. Borderlands, at the very least, is merciful enough to move along at clip, but very um, when everything else is so uninspired and frankly boring, it's still a slog. Casting has been a hot-button issue for the Borderlands movie from the get-go, and to be honest, it ended up probably being the least of my woes. Yes, we've got a mostly absent villain, and yes, the costumes have a distinctly average cosplay feel. <laughs> I mean... In all fairness, it does look like really shitty cosplay. Um, actors themselves are trying. Black's cap, clap track, clap, clap, clap trap is serviceably irritating. Hart's valiantly, Hart valiantly tries to prove he can play against type as he can play against type as a stone cold hero. Greenblatt's a decent tiny Tina approximation, and Florian Montano's injects a hint of much needed physicality into the otherwise inert fights. Blanchett predictably is the best of the bunch, but she's cast as a, such a one note dubber role that even she can't do much beyond grumble and point pistols. And when you can't hype up two time Oscar winning actress Kate Blanchett, you know something's gone horribly wrong. Um, in someone else's hand, Borderlands could have been a fun, disposable sci fi action comedy. The Borderlands universe has a lot of charm, but this adaptation has instead decided to shoot for a dire mix of aging pop culture riffs bad jokes and bland action that isn't even so bad it's good fodder um even so bad it's good fodder all in all it plays it like a bad borderlands parody it was always going to be a bold choice to turn a series of games that primarily function as looter shooters first and story second and what we've been shown proves this was a bad idea from the get-go the head of gearbox randy pitchford obviously has been basically blocking a bunch of people on x um because <laughs> even people that he's met in person for being dicks <laughs> in criticizing the film obviously a lot of people um you know a lot of these heads of you know game development studios um have obviously had played a big part or a big role or tried to have played a big role in you know transferring that you know the game universe over to hollywood and a lot of them have done a great job i mean look at the the head of Bethesda you know he played a big role we had um a lot of the head of, head of Xbox Phil Spencer you know take a part in building out the the Fallout series on TV and they did a fantastic job like a really great bloody job uh, obviously Randy Pitchford is just a little bit peeved off that obviously that wasn't his experience people don't seem to like his film even though he's put a lot of heart and soul into it um and he's basically said this which I thought sums it up pretty well um so what you're saying is so he's basically accepted to the fact that nobody likes his movie um and they like what they've done with the games a little bit more he says so what you're saying is you you like what my friends and i do with our borderlands video games even more than you like what some of the biggest and best cast and crew of filmmakers on the planet have done i'm super flattered we're working extra hard for you on what's next um yesterday a bunch uh, i blocked a bunch of truly nasty accounts but in the process i accidentally blocked at least three good accounts including at least one person i like and i've actually met in person i'm so sorry since Sincerely, I mistakenly blocked you. No excuses, let me know. And then later on, he sort of pulls that back and says, Oh, except for that Paul Tassie guy, it was pointed out to me that I blocked him too. So far, I think I accidentally blocked three people, not Paul Tassie. I thought he was being a dick. And so, him, I blocked on purpose. I unblocked him, but I might block him again. <laughs> um, let's see what else he said. Is this a sentiment anyone else shares? Should the movie have just done a one-to-one -one retelling of the Borderlands 1 story? The platform lets someone like me hear from someone like you, which is cool. Thanks in advance for your helpful and constructive feedback. Little Gas Mask says, For the Borderlands movie, I feel they should have just done a retelling of BL1 with more depth in the game. I don't know why they dis disregarded the source material so much, just to have it so non 
Borderlands players could be confused watching it. That's a fair point. Um, that, but it's not all bad. Mangaloo Cosplay says, So I cried twice during the Borderlands movie because it made me remember everything I love about Borderlands. The world building, the chaotic plot, the humour, all the time I spent in game with playing with friends and family and the memories I made with Border Fam community. Obviously Randy Pitcher would like that because it was one of the few positive reviews. I legit loved it. Better than most of the movies I've seen in a while. It fell short in a couple of areas but I'd love to go see it in the theatres again tomorrow because it was a lot of fun and there were a crap load of subtle easter eggs. Mm. And someone obviously gave him a little bit of shade for acting like a deranged fool. Paul, I'm guessing the writer who wrote the terrible review on forums, well the good review about the terrible movie, he says it's literally his job. Nobody has ever gotten the vibe he's obsessed with you. It sounds like you've got the main character syndrome. And he's, Randy Pitcher says, must be some new usage of the word deranged fool you're using. I got the vibe he's obsessed with Borderlands, not me. I'd be quite content for dude to never think of me again. Cheers. He also says, it is my opinion that you enjoy talking shit at my expense. Your comment here further reinforces my opinion. It's super strange given you seem to love something I also love and brought into the world i'm just trying to make entertainment i'm glad some of it has really um some of it has really engaged you i'm glad some of it's really engaged you i'm sorry everything we do doesn't hit for you i get you're doing your gig but why be a jerk about it anyways guys let me know what you think about the borderlands movie have you been out to see it are you planning on going out to see it what do you think of the backlash um obviously I don't think I'm going to go see it now. I'll probably watch it when it comes out in digital. I do like the cast. Jamie Lee Curtis is a win for me. Jack Black as Claptrap is another win. I'm getting a little bit tired of Kevin Hart, not going to lie. <laughs> but we'll see. I'll give it a watch when it comes out digitally. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you play Borderlands? Are you excited for the new Borderlands game? And are you watching this film? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to subscribe and I do, click join. Get your name in every video and every live stream. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Take care. Love you guys. Bye. Please to case sign off. Like, subscribe, click the bell. Bye.